rocking and they got it rolling. Look out. Oh! It's the semifinals of the International Woodsman's Competition in Greenfield, Nova Scotia. And competing for the first time in 10 years is Nova Scotia's world class champion, and Phil Scott. Patsy footwork out there is what it's all about. Phil is 40 years old. He's not only won nine international log rolling competitions, he's won dozens and dozens of trophies. You're watching two of the best out there, ladies and gentlemen. It takes the uh, balance and speed and agility, and above that is the, the mental in. attitude. It's just how much you want to win and, and how much you want to put your mind into it. They're going for it now. How about giving them a hand, ladies and gentlemen? Hey, look out! <laughs> What are you doing down there, Fred? <laughs> I used okay. to say I'd rather die out here than lose. And that's pretty much the attitude that a person has got to have. You might say that Phil's quiet, determined desire to be the best in the world flowed almost naturally from his childhood. He grew up beside the Barrington River in southwest Nova Scotia. It was uh, part of our heritage. My father brought the logs down the, ri the river here every spring to his sawmill. And uh, as kids, well, it would just seemed like it was a natural playground. Phil won his first world competition 20 years ago with the skills he learned as a boy. For the last 10 years, he's been busy performing rather than competing at shows. This is the first time in years he's been able to spend a summer at home. Hey, you fellas. Hi, how are you? And having Uncle Phil at home means having a front row seat to watch the champ's latest oh. trick. Gotta be a mountain goat. Yeah. In order to practice and practice for hours, you've got to have some reason to practice. Oh. Oh. Well, Phil's reason for practicing is the International Woodsman Show at Greenfield. Oh. It's a chance for Phil to take center pool. Boy, I tell you, you really got her moving this time, Phil. These people have come to watch the man they call the cat. Almost there. Whoa, look at that. This is the kind of entertaining Phil has been doing these past 10 years. He works alongside his brothers in timber shows. You made a lot of noise there. I hope you know what you're doing. What did you end up with there, anyway? Blocks. Oh, some blocks. That's what you're on. Sawdust. Sawdust. What else? And a little chair. How about it, ladies and gentlemen? A little miniature chair. <laughs> this is a But what's a woodsman show without a little canoe jousting? It's like a circus without a clown. Get him while he's done. Oh, you got him. Back in the boat again. We uh, have, <laughs> through the years, sort of learned a little bit how to fall. But you do still do get some bumps and bruises. Back at him again. Well, bumps and bruises, maybe, but talk about the school of hard knocks. This is one tough little log roller. Fortunately, things will get better. After all, he's being taught by one of the best. They've got to get a specific body position, and that has got to be maintained, and not sometimes, but all the time. Got a boy. Oh. Back her up. Do control again. Up. Come on out, Lily, and let's give this log a roll. Okay, little brother, I'll give you a run for your money. Phil's not doing this just for the fun of it. He's thinking seriously about rolling out of retirement. I'm not really hung up on winning, I, I, but I, uh, I do uh, kind of enjoy it if I can still go out there and, and uh, you know, give somebody a, a, a decent match. How many out there want Phil to win this match? Come on, Phil! Go! Go, Phil! One of Phil's greatest strengths is his endurance level. He's been known to keep a log rolling for over three hours. You hear about these things, but you don't really uh, get the feel of it until you see it. And once you see it, boy, it's awful impressive. It's a bundle of energy, and just to, wa to watch his movements, you can see how it's being, being used. He's uh, quick as a cat and quite a competitor. 
Got a turn on the log that time. This one's got a wall. Oh, cost them that little turn on the log, and it cost them. Paul Scott, ladies and gentlemen, is your international champion here in our log rolling match today. And so okay. Phil will add another trophy to his already impressive collection. Phil Scott from Barrington, Nova Scotia. A Canadian log roller honored with awards from Australia, New Zealand, Japan, the United States, and of course, Canada. So what's next? I've covered, you know, a lot of countries and, uh, and met a lot of people, and, but I, I would like to uh, go to Europe and, uh, and log roll in Europe. I guess just for the sake of saying that I, that I did do it. Mm -hmm.